Alright, so on Christmas uh, 2022, uh, we were going, we are coming back from uh, Washburn, and we were, hit, we were on the interstate, there was no travel advisory, the winds were like upwards of 50 miles per hour, and visibility was low, it was dark out, it was towards the end of the night, and my uh, dad was driving, I had my little brother in the back seat, I was in the passenger seat, and... Uh, we were going uh, closer to Richardson on our way back into Dickinson, and uh, like there would be like snow that would pile up under the bridges just because that's where like it would be a windbreak, and they kept getting a little bigger. And then right after we passed Richardson, we come up on one, and I could tell as soon as we were getting real close, I'm, I yelled, "Dad!" and he saw it and kind of swerved. We hit it, spun around, and then so rolled lucky. three one of us times. Didn't die. And this shit ain't right. Dodge, you know, half ton. It was a big vehicle, Ugh. and I was the only one who had my seatbelt on. So they're run they're flying around the car. There was a big indent in the top where my little brother hit in the back seat, and he had his uh, AirPods in, so he didn't even know what was going on right away. And he busted out the back window. He had a concussion. I had a concussion. My dad did. Uh, my shoulder was a l like tight and. Something was just a little out of place, I'm sure. But my little brother had broke his uh, right collarbone, clean break in two spots. And like he did, he had his jacket, I had my jacket and all that, but it was like really cold outside, like freezing temperatures. And like the ambulance took a while to get there just because it was so difficult to get out there with how much snow was blowing around and the visibility was damn near nothing. So it was... It was a really tough experience. And then on the way in, from the ambulance, my little brother, like, he'd never been in that position, so he was panicking. But uh, by the time we got to town, like, everything was good. Uh, and we were safe. But it was definitely a terrible way to end Christmas, without a doubt. <laughs> was your hospital experience good? Oh, uh, yeah. I was more worried about my little brother than anything, just uh -huh. because... You know, he was crying, and, like, he doesn't cry normally. And you, I could tell that he was in, like, severe pain. And we didn't know what was wrong with him until we got there. So I wanted to get up and go see him, but the nurses wouldn't let me because I had to get a scar right here that I have. I had to get that glued shut, and it, it didn't work the first time, so I had to re-glue it. And then, so you think maybe uh, that... You were you were buckled up. You think that yeah. probably saved your life? Oh yeah, saved you from those two uh, flying around in the car though. Could have easily killed me too. My little brother broke out the back window, so he could have fallen out while we were rolling, and the car could have rolled over him. I could have been thrown from the vehicle. He's he like, if you if you would have been unbuckled, you you could have got the, ejected, yeah. or any of you could have got ejected. Right. Oh, well, my dad. He hit his head and it broke the or something broke the windshield on his side. Ouch. My window didn't break, uh, but uh, either did the back two on the side. Yeah, you usually need like rocks. Yeah. That's what usually breaks windows. And then the like whole center council like came up and like was flying around too. And so then there was change all over the place too because he had a big old change cup. So it was, it was an interesting situation. I, we couldn't find our phones. That was another part. I had to get out and look for a phone just so we could get a hold of 911. That was also pretty scary. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, was anybody around? Like, uh, was there anybody on the highway? Uh, we flagged on down. The road? Yeah, someone stopped eventually after we'd finally found a phone, and he let us sit in his vehicle. He was a really nice guy. He had a Denver Broncos, Denver Broncos blanket, I remember, that my little brother huh. was wrapped up in. He was just, you know, more helpful than anything. My dad was on the phone, so he was just tending to my little brother. I wish I still had his name, but I don't. Otherwise, I'd give him huh. praise. What vehicle was he driving? Uh, he was in a, like a... I think it was a Sequoia, a Toyota Sequoia. Is that a, that's a, like a It's like SUV. an SUV, yeah. It's a, I it's, just saw, a one I just saw one of those in Sequoia. I saw one of those in Park City when I was there. Sequoias are nice. It's the I mean, same vehicle, Sequoia. Well. And they're yeah. nice and roomy on the inside. Was he getting around okay? Uh, he was, he was going a lot slower than we were. My dad was going 75 was and everyone else was going around 40 to 50. So, okay. I mean, that was also probably part of the reason the why. The speed. Yeah, he was in a hurry to get home. Yeah, they say that higher speeds over, like, 50 usually yeah. is when a rollover will happen. Yeah. High speeds. That's when we lost traction. I mean... High speeds is what... Low speeds don't really cause rollovers, but high speeds do. If we were going 50, we might have went in the ditch still, but I know we wouldn't have rolled three times if we were... Uh-huh. We were, we were have probably so less fast. momentum. Right. 
would have been a lot better, without a doubt. But it was definitely the most interesting way to end Christmas out of you know the twenty three years I've lived. Uh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. The only thing I can relate to that is when I was on a four wheeler and I was, um, I was fishing and yeah. I hit a hit a little like bump and the four wheeler four wheeler went off this ridge. Yeah. And I was by a river and I fell off the four wheeler. Yeah. I got like <laughs> bucked off and the four wheeler went straight into the river. Yeah. So down below. There was one time. I was I and I got it was like I guess uh, I just flew off the four wheeler. Yeah. It was a great I was I was pretty was a tough loss for the uh, four wheeler. Yeah. It was like, you know, like mentally scarring. Right. But uh I had a also rolled a doom buggy back when I was like oh, yeah. 14 years old out at a farm, friend's farm. You rolled it. And my uh, neighbor was in the passenger seat. Her name was Gabby. And we rolled it. I like took a sharp turn and we just did one roll. But she had her arm outside of the roll cage, so she ended up breaking her arm. But Ouch. I was okay, because we were both buckling. Ouch. Her. But, yeah, those are the two rollovers I've been in. So, second one was way worse, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. You got to watch how you're driving on the interstate. Yeah. There's a lot of snow rolling around, and visibility's bad. And it's, yeah, dark out. Not safe. North Dakota weather. It's like ice road trucking. Yeah. So what inspired me to make this was when I was driving from Utah... I saw a rollover, rollover pickup in a high speed area and um, kind of caught my eye and I stopped to go check the vehicle but nobody was around. But yeah, that's what inspired me to write this or to make this because uh, rollovers are pretty um, intense and to have a real life experience story, true story, real life experience story. Uh, would have been pretty cool to learn about and to learn what uh, that's like. 